If you see a container truck in China, you'd best steer clear. If you see a leaking container truck in China, it's time to hop on the good foot and leg it. And you just may be as lucky as these two guys and escape by the breadth of a cat's whisker. If you're on the internet, you're exposed to scoundrels. Of course, we do what we can to stay safe on the internet, but regardless of what you do, if you're not using a VPN, you're leaving your connection open. Think of it like this. When you write a letter and post it to someone, you use an envelope, right? That's to stop everyone who handles or sees your letter from reading the contents. Using the internet without a VPN is like sending a letter in a Ziploc bag. And you don't want the wrong person reading your letters, now do you? VPNs keep your data private and your connection secure, and the VPN of my choice is Surfshark. You can also use Surfshark's VPN to get better prices and watch content that's blocked in your region. Looking for plane tickets or hotels? Companies will figure out where you are and charge you accordingly. You can use Surfshark to change service to a different country, and a lot of the time, you'll get a better deal. Right now, there's a special Black Friday offer. Get up to six additional months free Hey babe, I just got a six months for free of Surfshark. For a limited time, get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Go to surfshark.deals slash serpentsa and get up to six additional months for free. That's surfshark.deals slash serpentsa and use the code serpentsa to protect your online privacy today. We're talking about China's atrocious workplace safety today. And I hope this video serves to highlight how corruption and shortcuts in the end rarely affect the working class of China. You see, China wants the world to see a bright, flashy facade. But if you look behind the facade, you'll see that it's a bit of a haphazard mess, masquerading as something shiny. We're going to start with a clip that I filmed myself. Now this is something very common in southern China. The weather is super humid and everyone needs AC. China almost exclusively uses split unit air conditioners. That means there's a unit inside your apartment and of course the noisy compressor and condenser unit is located outside on the wall of the building. These systems work well, but are very difficult to install, especially on high rise buildings. This is always how I've seen it done. One guy climbs out of the window or in cases like this climbs down from the roof using a tatty rope often without any sort of safety harness. He gets to drilling, mounting, installing, and hooking up the unit, often 30 plus stories off the ground, with little or no safety precautions. I mean, the guy who installed the AC in my building on the 24th floor literally tied a rope around his waist in a knot, and his colleague just tied the other end around his waist and held onto the rope without anchoring it to anything, while the other guy dangled outside doing his work. I mean, I was shocked, but this is common practice. Workers simply make do and figure out how to get a job done, seemingly without the need to study a trade or properly follow any real safety guidelines or codes. This guy I filmed checking out the planters here on the side of the road was literally balancing high above a busy highway with no safety harnesses at all. That hard hat ain't gonna save you, buddy. At least you're trying. 
China lacks any sort of regulation enforcement. And although I'm sure somewhere written on paper there are regulations to be followed, the nature of how China runs ensures that many construction workers and tradesmen don't even know they exist. Things like height regulations. <laughs> Weight limits. <laughs> and safety practices are simply misunderstood or willfully ignored. It's not just the lack of following guidelines that poses a danger, but also the generally chaotic environment of Chinese cities. You may just be minding your own business, working in a ditch replacing cables, and one of those badly built fake AI delivery vehicles decides to come crashing down on you. Working on your construction site, and an excavator comes crashing down. Or the curtain wall peels off of the building, as they always do. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to hang off a rope and help it down. Since we're talking about construction, can I just mention for a minute how haphazard and poor the construction practices are in China? Yeah? I'm not just talking about the crappy out-of-the-way projects in the countryside. I'm talking about big projects by well-established construction companies in China. In Chinese construction, taking shortcuts is the norm and not the exception. It simply cannot be any other way. The speed and rate at which construction companies are expected to complete their projects means that there's no other way other than to take shortcuts and cut corners.
Remember, China is the land of shortcuts and facades. And let me level with you here for a minute. When living in China, I really liked the fact that you don't need to care about codes or safety rules. At least at first. And as someone who owned a small custom motorcycle shop in China, I loved just grinding and welding and doing whatever I wanted without the annoyance of having to worry about safety inspections and permits and whatnot. But I realized after a time that these safety laws, codes and rules are there for a reason. And without them, society suffers. And there's a lot of exploitation and suffering of the working class in China. I hope you've learned something. And until next time, unlike crappy construction shortcuts, stay awesome. Oh, and don't forget my Friday show where me and my buddy, we talk about what's new in China, the news, the soft power hour, all the fun and interesting things. It's a hoot. I hope you can join me this Friday. Link is in the description below. And until next time, again, you know the drill. As always, stay awesome.